It's like they say, you know, when you're alone, all those inner thoughts start attacking you at once. And they just start honing in on you. My first trip when I was about one years old was to the Bahamas. I just love uh, flipping through those album books and just seeing how in love they were and just seeing what, you know, the idea of the perfect family was, I guess. You, know, you have pictures of my dad holding me when I was a baby. That was really when he was there. You know, I had more connection to him as a child than I do now as um, a young adult. Middle school, I'd say that's when things really, you know, got crazy. My dad had gone away on a lot of business trips. And a lot of the times when he would leave, my mom wouldn't be able to get in contact with him, you know, and I'd be really worried about him. A uh, sort of core bad memory I have is me and my mom, we had called him numerous times. I don't even know where he went on this business trip. Um, but, um, you know, I, I called him at least about a good 10 times of just missed calls. And I just called him. And I just, I started bawling. You know, I was just like, you know, Dad, where, where are you? You know, are you alive? Are you, are you safe? And he calls back about an hour later. He's like, oh, son, I'm sorry to worry you. I'm fine. And it was just the, the calmness in his voice that really worried me. Because I kind of knew at that point, you know, my dad was was gone. Um, I didn't know him anymore. And that was just really, really, really sad. And it's really heartbreaking when at a young age you start to realize that you're becoming very detached from one parent. There's a lot of times I've wanted to interview my mom on this but she just isn't the same. He has crushed her on a level that's unrecognizable. One day I heard my mom saying that she, you know, she never wanted to get married again. And I just felt that messed up. I don't want her to have to relive those painful moments by talking about those memories and those events. Because sometimes you don't have to forget, but sometimes you just have to move on. That's the best way to heal. And I guess in a way I'm trying to spare myself from pain. It took me a while to adjust to the fact that like my dad wasn't coming back. It was tough, it was really hard. It was heartbreaking. I just isolated myself and I'm still trying to push through it. I just think about what would have been if my mom and dad were together. But looking at those photos, it's a doozy for me. It still packs a punch sometimes. It's been four years. It's been four years without my dad. It's been four years, I've just been living with my mom. You know, me and her, we're, we're real close, but this things just ain't the same.
Wants to be the first to say goodbye. 